Okay, so get this. Classrooms, but they're spilling out into parks. Mm -hmm. Poems, but they're like popping up on sidewalks. Love it. It's like the symphony of words echoing from like mountains to beaches. Wow. That's right out. That's amazing. Yeah, it's this like explosion of creativity happening October 13th through the 27th. Oh, wow. And the best part. What's that? It's not just for students. It's for everyone. What's really interesting here is that right out, it's not just some, you know, one-off event. Right. It's actually powered by the National Writing Project. Okay. You know, NWP, oh, yeah. Yeah. which has been around for decades. Yeah, for over 40 years, right. That's right. They know a thing or two about the power of words. They do. But this whole write out thing, it's not just like writing workshops or anything. There's mm -hmm. this whole other angle. Yeah. Which is like place-based learning. Yeah. Which I have to admit, sounds kind of intriguing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So just think about how differently you experience the world when you actually slow down. Okay. And you're really present in a space. Right. Like suddenly all your senses are heightened. Mm -hmm. You know, you notice the rustle of leaves, the way the sunlight filters through the trees. Yeah. It's like you're tapping into all these details that maybe you overlooked before. Totally. And it turns out that can be amazing for creativity. Yeah, because it's like we're so used to just like being glued to a screen. Right. That we forget to actually like experience our surroundings. Exactly. And there's even research on this. Oh, yeah. That shows that spending time in nature can actually lower your stress hormones. Wow. And boost your creativity. That's amazing. So write out. It's not just about writing. Yeah. It's about reconnecting with the world around us mm -hmm. and experiencing those benefits. Yeah. And then when you share those experiences through your writing. Right. That's where the magic really happens. Because then it's not just you and your notebook anymore, right? Exactly. You mentioned sharing. Yeah. And I know that Write Out has a social media component too. Yes. So it's like this ripple effect. It is. Going from like this really personal thing yeah. out into a shared experience. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Yeah. That local park that you explore. Right. That becomes like a shared point of inspiration. It can connect you to other people who maybe have experienced that same place. That's amazing. Even if it's in a slightly different way. So we've talked about like the why behind write out. Yeah. Which I think we can all agree is a really compelling why. For sure. But let's get practical for a second. Yeah. Because it's easy to say like, go write in nature. Right. But it's really helpful to have some guidance. It is. And I know they have a ton of resources to help people actually do this. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about write out. Okay. They really go above and beyond to make it accessible for everyone, uh -huh. I mean, whether you are an educator looking for lesson plans, mm -hmm. a family that wants some fun outdoor activities to do together, yeah. or even someone who just wants to like dip their toes into nature writing, right. they've got something for you. So like if I'm feeling creatively stuck, yeah. I can just grab my coffee, go to my favorite park bench mm. and boom, inspiration. Exactly. Or imagine this. Okay. You're about to have a team meeting. Yeah. But instead of being stuck in a stuffy conference room, right. you take your team for a walk outside. Okay. You're brainstorming under the open sky. I love it. You're letting the environment just spark new ideas. That's amazing. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Okay, I'm convinced I'm ready to grab a notebook and just head for the hills. Do it. But oh. how can our listeners be a part of this? Well, first things first. Okay. Mark your calendars. Okay. October 13th through the 27th. Got it. And then head over to the Write Out website. They have a whole section on how to get involved. Great. You can sign up for updates. You can become a partner organization. Okay. You can even sponsor the event and help them reach more people. Amazing. It's really easy. So it's like they've removed all the obstacles. Yeah. They're giving you the why, the how. Exactly. And then it's really up to us right. to take that spark and run with it. And I think that's really the most important takeaway here. Okay. Supporting initiatives like Write Out. It's not just about promoting writing, right? Right. It's about fostering a deeper connection mm -hmm. with ourselves, with our communities, yeah. with the natural world. I love that. Yeah. So here's a thought to leave you with. Okay. Imagine if everyone took the time to observe, reflect, and create, you know, drawing inspiration from the world around them. Yeah. How do you think that would change not only our individual lives, yeah. but the very fabric of our society? Wow, yeah. Something to think about. It is. Next yeah. time you're out on a walk. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>